Hello. <laughs> oh, I'm very excited to film this next video. It's a look that I only literally just thought of. No pre-planning required. Setup is so important, isn't it? Because if I was to just even tilt this slightly this way, you can see all my laundry is just <laughs> hanging there. Some smoke and mirrors, guys. My house is not a white cube. Free of furniture, I can assure you. I hope you can't see flapjack in my teeth. You like my nails? Very much a colour experimentation. This one worked really well. Ooh. Girl. You see it? It's snake skin. Nikki at my salon. Shout out to you, girl. Here we go. <laughs> so I did the same as what I would usually do in any of my other videos. So if you want to see how I get this base, then go back to my other videos. I just thought I wouldn't include it again because I've done it in all of them. Let's keep on going. So I've got my foundation again. Um, it's Kat Von D Locket, uh, Locket Foundation in medium 52 warm and I will be actually just putting this all over my face. I want a neutral base for this look. Um, so I just want it to look like my skin tone. Okay, so then I've got my Locket Concealer in L1 Neutral. It's quite a light shade. And I'm just gonna highlight under my eyes, um, on my lids, just make this area really lit up so they really stand out. And my chin, my lips, just so that I can go over it with lipstick. Then I've got some redness underneath my nose, my nose and my forehead. Some would say excessive. I don't. And then just blend that out. Now I've got my base. Contouring, shall we? So I will take a fluffy-ish brush because I want it to be quite soft and kind of messy. So I've got this fluffy brush, my Venus palette, and I go in with the kind of pinkier shades like Muse and Rebirth and just do some light contouring around there that I'll dip the darken later. And then I think I'll take I think I'll take um, some of the pinks out of this Urban Decay Electric palette. Oh yeah there's a really bright pink called Savage and I will Pop that in there as well. Ooh, nice. And then there is also a darker one called Jilted. So I'll take that in there as well, just to really darken up the contour. I've got my fluffy brush and I'm gonna take the same colors I took out of that Venus palette. So Rebirth um, and go around my lips where I'm gonna be doing some design. So. I'm going to be coming out from here. And then I've got my fetish palette from Kat Von D and I'm taking a slightly smaller brush from MAC 221S and I'm going to be going in with this red called Bondage yes, and going around that same pattern, darkening it. I will be taking Necromancy Cosmetica in Bitch Witched um, and also a small brush that I can use to fan it out. So that'll do. It's tiny. Ooh. Oh, yeah, it's good. So. I've got um, Kat Von D in Witch, Witches, the black one, and I'm going to be going over those lines. I'm just going to put some on my hand so that I don't contaminate. So, let's see. So, 
Now we can do a beautiful eye. So I've got my small fluffy brush and I'm gonna be doing a red eye. So I'm gonna be using this, which is called Bondage, Dominatrix, Stiletto, and just kind of dipping into all of those colors and mixing them all around. So I'll start with Bondage, because it's a really nice burnt red. It's quite dark. And I'll be dipping into Safe Word as well because it's kind of like a nice blending tone. Um, I want this to be really soft, so I'm going to be just really blending it out and making it very cloudy, smoky. And I've just got a flat brush now, and I'm going to go with the Dominatrix shade which is um, uh, very red, very shiny, very beautiful and just smush that onto my lids and use the fluffy brush to just um, blend it into the crease as well. Okay, I'll probably do for that. Just wipe away the debris. Um, I'm actually going to do some highlighter now before I start drawing and stuff on my face. So um, my highlighter is, as usual, the Lime Crime Mermaid palette with my highlighter brush. And it's actually really empty, look. I'm going to put on soon. And I'm going to put it on my cheek and just around where I've done the makeup. areas that there is just light space so now um, I can do a similar thing to what I've done here on my eyes I've got a mixture of liquid eyeliners that are all sort of running out and um, there's a Kat Von D worm there's a cheap one off eBay I'll just do it on one and then leave the other. I want to use my Meron metallic powder again. Um, it's the same stuff that I used in the Anax and the Moon uh, photos. Got mixing liquid, so I just need to mix it up in a little thing and then I can rip it from my eye. So I forgot to fill my eye, but. <laughs> Basically, I just dripped it from this, from my eye, all the way down. It does sting. I'm guessing it's not meant to go on your eye. But you know what? We die by our craft, don't we? Just make sure this is all coloured in. And then I'm actually going to add some, like, wet look gel to... a uh, gel. Lip gloss to some areas. Oh my god, my nose is running now. This is um, Vamplify by MAC and it's in shade She Rebel. I think these might be discontinued now, which is a shame because they're so glossy. Uh, I'm just going to add it to some of these areas. Just to make it look really shiny moist. I think we're done. <laughs> Something horrible is about to happen. So I'm um, dripping it everywhere at the moment, across my hairline, under my chin, just trying not to get it on my clothes or in my eyes, which is super hard. Uh, but look how pigmented this is. It's great. I'm so sorry this has been so disjointed. I actually just keep getting lost in my makeup and completely forgetting that I'm supposed to be filming it. <laughs> but this is, yeah, this is it basically. I'm just dripping, dripping. Um, putting it around my face and my neck. What I'm going to do when I do my photos is I'm going to photoshop um, an eyeball onto my forehead as well. So that should look pretty fun, right? Horrible. Do I ever do anything nice? No! Oh no. Oh no, that's travelling too far. 
Ah, stop. Are you stopping? You're not stopping. You stop now. Okay, I think that will do. Is this dry? Maybe. Probably not. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. I'm really happy with this. PSD resistance. Ouch. God, this is fucking sharp. Ouch. Oi oi! Sick. Alright, I'm about to do some photos, so stay tuned. Is it too much? No, it's fine. So this is my final look. Thank you for watching. I'm so sorry that it was so disjointed. I just kept forgetting that I was meant to be filming. <laughs> A lot of Meron chrome paint because it's my new favourite thing. I did get it in my wig and I have no idea how I'm going to get it off. It's horrible, isn't it? I quite like it. I'm quite happy with how it turned out. Thank you so much for watching, please subscribe, click the like button below uh, and follow me on Instagram as well, go check it out, see if you like what you see and um, there's much more of this sort of vibe on there so please go and have a look. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye guys, until next time. Bye.